Hello, I'm Owen Dowling, CEO and founder of Boxfish. Boxfish captures every word spoken on TV and it transforms the way we discover and monetize live television. One of the examples of the use cases for Boxfish, currently if you're looking for a program, all you can do is find the program. But if you're interested in sports or news or current affairs or celebrities or politics, if you want to find where LeBron James is mentioned on TV or a team, we will tell you when, where and as it happens. That is the power of Boxfish. Boxfish is a real-time platform that's enabling incredible new discovery products on live television. How does Boxfish do this? Think of, we, Boxfish captures nearly a thousand channels in the US now. And think of, if you had an aerial plugged into the back of your TV, we have an aerial plugged into a lot of servers. And all of these servers capture, through various patented technology, every word spoken on TV. We process this data in real time. So this, all, this is all done sub-second, so that if you're interested in uh, Kobe Bryant, we will tell you as it happens, when he's being interviewed, when he's playing, if there's any documentaries, we will tell you as it happens. So it, it's captured across a thousand channels in the US, soon to be launching in Europe, and we take that data, we immediately load it up into the cloud, we process it sub-second, and then it becomes available for second screen apps, set-top boxes, TV manufacturers, and advertisers. We sell the data, uh, associated that comes off the TV so we sell search data we sell trending data we sell real-time topic data um, and currently we're looking at um, using this layer of data in order to enable better targeting of advertising so currently advertising is based on demographic information so if someone is watching a show on sports they know the the consumer is 18 to 34 year old male but we know if they're mentioning the Lakers or Kobe Bryant or Tom Brady then you can advertise against those topics and not just the demographic so it's taking the online and mobile advertising uh, model and bringing it to this very old uh, TV model so we're there's two two revenue streams sure so it was uh, it was um, started in, uh, in 2011 and we were lucky enough to work with Silicon Valley Bank based here in, in the heart of Silicon Valley and uh, they provided seed money and that enabled us to build our prototype uh, and the technology to um, enable us to close a, a, very, a very good A round and then we um, uh, closed the A round with uh, Deutsche Telekom and Naya Ventures, T Ventures and Naya Ventures, in August 11, I think. So the problem was solved, it kind of started, and I think this is actually a very uh, important point when it comes to pitching, to relate it to the, the human level and not the technology level. Um, I was sitting at home and I'm a major Led Zeppelin fan, and I have literally everything recorded uh, and recorded on audio and video around Led Zeppelin. And I was watching a documentary on TV on progressive rock and I saw a, a, a clip of Led Zeppelin that I'd never seen before. And it hit me that the captions going across the screen in the subtitles were reference points to what were happening in the, in the live stream. So we, um, it, the idea struck that this is the way you can discover in real time what TV is talking about. And there's this mantra of you know, there's nothing on TV. And everyone says it, they sit down and they say, there's nothing on TV. But what we realize when you capture all the data, there's an awful lot on TV. It's just that the, the discovery mechanisms at the moment, we use this TV guide and this spreadsheet uh, that, um, that enables very little discovery. You're trying to navigate 800 channels using, you know, a spreadsheet. So, uh, using our platform, it allows people to find much richer content. Next five years, I think that uh, the, it's a great time for TV. You, you know, you have your, the players like the, the MSOs and the Comcasts and, and uh, DirecTV and AT&T. Um, and they've been sitting on the same model for a long time. But you have big players like Google, very committed to their TV strategy. You have the Xbox coming out in Christmas, the Xbox One. You have the shadow of an Apple TV. 
um, you have Google Fiber, you have Amazon releasing a set-top box, you have Intel releasing a set-top box, and it seems like it's a very exciting time for this space. And there's a model that's 70 years old that's about to be disrupted, and that's both on the discovery and the monetization side. So I think the next five years are going to really, including the kind of over-the-top content and Netflix, and that's all putting pressure on, on TV to innovate. So it's going to be a very interesting five years in this space. I think if, if when it comes to to the pitch, um, you know, uh, for us it was always relating it back to the the what does this do for the, the someone sitting on a couch at home, and uh, and 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 bring the story back to to that just simple position that everyone can picture themselves in, and uh, it's very important. And I think that that's the value of Boxfish as well. I think there's there's, there's a, this mantra, you sit on your couch, you turn on your TV and there's a frustration of not being able to find things. And uh, I think that that's, that's where we're going to build a big business.